Pallas Athena is known as a warrior goddess because of her past lifetimes upon the earth. She appears to us in the spiritual realms as an expansive blazing flame of golden light. She anchors the energy of the Christ consciousness into her being with the power to burn up negative energy and illusions to create the pure love of the Creator. She wholeheartedly surrenders herself to the Creator, giving the impression of being strong, powerful, and determined. Pallas Athena is a goddess and an ascended master, she is the Joan or overseer of the twelfth ray of light represented by a golden color. The twelfth ray is an extension of the Christ Hashram focused upon completing planetary level initiations and embodiment of the Christ Consciousness, which is the active vibration of love from the essence and core of the Creator. Call upon Pallas Athena to support your embodiment of love, to enhance your inner power, and to aid completion of planetary lessons and teachings. Love is one of the core expressions of the Creator. Love is the most truthful feeling and experience which resembles, aligns us to, and awakens the Creator's pure vibrations within. Love is the label for the human and physical reality experience of the Creator. Love represents the purest vibration of the Creator in existence within your being. The Creator can be expressed in numerous ways, qualities, and energies, it is the same for the quality of love. There are experiences and situations which humans label as love, although they are not expressions, nor do they resemble the pure and truthful love or essence of the Creator. The love of the Creator, I, Pallas Athena, speak of, is unconditional, offers constant support, energizes the truth of the Creator, shares forgiveness, has the ability to heal, creates happiness and joy, is non-attached, advocates freedom is at peace, and feels empowered while empowering others. The highest frequency of love also creates wisdom and knowledge born from a space of love and creator essence. When the love of the creator is present, then the ego, fear, and suffering cannot be present unless an individual consciously invites or focuses upon these limiting qualities, which can generate feelings of separation. Reasons for focusing upon limiting qualities could be for the process of understanding, growth and learning, or because of energetic habits which keep manifesting as repetitive patterns. We must also remember that the conditioning humans experience from their birth also encourages a focus upon limiting qualities and experiences, rather than on the presence of love. Even those focused upon spiritual awakening can hold onto and energize their ego, fear, and suffering without realizing. One can embody a certain percentage of the Creator's love while still following the patterns of their ego. It is only when an individual surrenders to the love of the Creator within them that they can more easily see, sense, or acknowledge the presence of their ego, than being able to consciously release themselves from old limiting patterns. When love is present within an individual, we know the Creator is being recognized and activated. Therefore love is working through the individual with their conscious awareness. We can recognize the aspects, manifestations, and reactions of the ego as born from separation while aspects, manifestations, and reactions of love represent a conscious awareness of connection and union with the Creator. Sometimes expressions can appear to be born from love, when actually they develop from feelings of being separated from the Creator. It is important to feel love within your own heart, born from your recognition of oneness with the Creator, then you will be able to recognize the same love in others and your experiences, releasing all that is not the love of the Creator. When you access the love of the Creator, it becomes a constant part of your being and reality. You find yourself detaching and feeling less inclined to judge, be fearful, or even sad because you know and feel you are supported and loved by the Creator, this is an amazing experience. Limiting habits can still rise from within your being. However, the love emanating from your being allows you to recognize their false nature and continue to remain in a space of love. At times you may find yourself feeling low, upset, or negative, and yet when you compare this to your past, 
you will notice that your experiences and feelings are of a higher vibration than before. You will notice that even if you feel sad or angry, the love of the Creator never leaves you, it becomes more like acting in a play, rather than being consumed by your experiences completely. Patterns of separation can also be constant and addictive. Often individuals can experience a power in experiencing separation with the Creator. It is a false power because they believe they have control of their being and life if they remain as they are, however, their soul is always trying to guide them back to union with the Creator, causing an inner battle to commence. Love can exist alongside beliefs of separation within an individual. However, the more love is fully embraced the easier it will be to let go of separation of all forms. It is appropriate to wonder that if love can exist within a person alongside separation, then maybe the love recognized by the individual is not at its purest state or has not yet fully been experienced and surrendered to. When we surrender to love, even if only for a moment, we enter into a beautiful state of mind, being, and existence, where we recognize ourselves as love all around us as love, and most importantly we see the power of love. A realization dawns that everything can be healed with the pure love of the Creator, because it is not simply a feeling, it is a connection to higher consciousness, a powerful wave of life force and giving energy, it is a state that allows us to be in our power. Many partnerships or romantic relationships can be created from a love that exists alongside separation within each individual. This does not mean the love of the relationship is false, it simply signifies that there are greater levels of love to explore. Imagine a love between two people where there are limiting beliefs, insecurities, or feelings of being unworthy, each limiting thought, emotion, or reaction creates a block so that the two people cannot see each other clearly or as their truth, while also creating an element of separation within the relationship experience. Now imagine a relationship where both individuals have surrendered to the love of the Creator, they emanate love and even when limiting thoughts, emotions, or reactions arise, they treat their inner experience with love, releasing each to remain in a space of love. Both people in the relationship will be able to support each other in accessing a deeper love within their own beings, as well as creating their relationship as a truthful Creator love. The result will be a more meaningful relationship for each person with the Creator. When separation is present within individuals, they have the ability to be fearful, hateful, judgmental, and even hurtful, while also experiencing deep feelings of love. Such qualities and experiences are born from a space of believing in a lack of their own personal power. It is a mistake to believe that power is control or controlling. When you embody the love of the Creator, you are in your power because you are functioning from your strength rather than from a space of weakness such as pain, old wounds, and suffering. The only way you can exist from a space of unconditional love and power within your being is to be consciously focusing on emanating love while being aware of, but not attached to, the separation energies you experience and how they manifest within your reality. Hate, fear, judgment, and so forth, are simply old wounds of pain. When you heal and release these old wounds, you give yourself more space to focus upon love, and it can be very challenging to hate, fear, or even judge, because the wounds that created the reactions which manifested as these qualities are no longer present. Therefore, the reaction has been erased, and the only reaction which remains is of love. Frequently any negative, limiting or disempowering reaction towards yourself or another has nothing to do with your present situation, it is simply an old wound reacting or coming to the surface. When you begin to recognize your reactions as representatives of the energies you hold on to within your being, then it is far easier to create the necessary shifts within your being to dissolve separation and move into a space of love. There is a promise within your soul which has been made by the Creator to you, this is a promise of fulfillment and constant care for you. This is the divine will of the Creator for your reality. 
Many people are unaware of the Creator's promise to them which exists within their souls. It is only a belief in and focus upon separation which shadows this promise from manifesting fully in your reality. During meditation or quiet time, if you ask within your being to connect with, observe, and experience the promise of the Creator to you, then you will be made aware of this promise and its energy with divine timing. You can then allow the energy vibration of the promise to pulsate throughout your being, body, and reality for your experience upon the earth. With this promise of fulfillment and care from the Creator in mind, we realize that this also means that every soul holds the same promise, meaning each person's purpose is to create and experience fulfillment, as well as to lovingly care for themselves and others in the most appropriate and guided way. Therefore, every soul upon the earth has the opportunity to experience a deeply loving relationship, if this is what their soul wishes to experience in their current lifetime. Most souls wish to experience a genuinely loving relationship with another, because the union of their pure creator love removes further boundaries of separation, creating greater love and experiences of unification with the creator. The relationship itself can support inner cleansing, empowerment, and development with great intensity and potency. It is important to remember that your relationship with yourself and the Creator is of great importance, creating and remembering your true relationship of love with yourself and the Creator allows everything else to fall into place within your reality, born from pure love to manifest divine experiences of love. Many factors can hinder the manifestation of a loving relationship or union manifesting in your reality. Past lifetime patterns, lessons, and wounds that continue to imprint into your current reality, feeling unworthy or undeserving of such a relationship. It could be too much focus upon your inner pain, fears, suffering, or any form of separation which hinders you from expressing your love and encourages you to be self-absorbed. Feelings or beliefs of loneliness can hinder a relationship manifesting. Moving through, healing and releasing all these limitations may feel as if you are wasting your life and time, when it would be far more beneficial to experience a deep and meaningful relationship, as this would be a union with the Creator. However, everything has a purpose and whatever you are experiencing in your life, Whatever limitations you are moving through your soul is growing, expanding, and becoming empowered, so it is truly perfect for you now. A limitation to creating the manifestation of a deeply loving relationship is the yearning for such a relationship in your life. When you yearn for a romantic or spiritual, loving relationship, you may feel you are yearning for companionship or someone to share deeply and intimately with. Yet the truth is that you are actually yearning for a deeper connection with the Creator. It is the same whether you are yearning for a relationship or something else in your reality, such as excitement, a material object, friends, or even money. Every soul yearns to be loved by the Creator whatever their circumstances. This means you are not aware of or have forgotten the promise made to you by the Creator to fulfill and care for you, which means to love you deeply. It is not that the Creator has neglected to deliver this promise to you, it is that you have not fully opened yourself to receive the gift. It also symbolizes that an aspect of yourself may not be willing to allow you to love yourself. Without your self-love, you cannot recognize the pure and truthful love of the Creator and others. Remember that self-love has nothing to do with the ego, it is to offer to yourself unconditional love, support, truth forgiveness, healing, happiness, and joy. When you love yourself unconditionally, you make time and space in your reality for others to love you, meaning that you welcome the support of others and do not feel that everything has to be achieved by you alone. The belief in the inability of others to serve you can also hinder a deeply loving relationship, it can be born from a belief that the Creator is unable to help you. Holding on to wounds you discover spiritually as your beliefs, such as believing you do not have a loving relationship because of your past experiences, and your inability to love yourself can also limit you. 
This is to create a belief from a realization or expression of enlightenment, because the ego is not willing to let go of separation and enter into peace and love. When you dissolve all forms of separation, then the Creator flows through you and will co-create with you to manifest whatever you wish to experience. Remember that all manifestations first come from within you. If you do not feel your reality represents the truth of your being, then ask yourself in what area are you believing in and holding on to separation? The greatest truth is that you are loved unconditionally by the Creator with the purpose of experiencing fulfillment and loving support. It is now time for you to open and receive all the Creator wishes to share with. Let go of all blame, anger, or resentment, these are simply old wounds which can be valuable for your self-discovery and healing. Know that you are in the most perfect and appropriate period of your reality whatever you are experiencing. Let go of all judgment of your past and present, allow yourself to step into love. You may also be interested to know that the more the masculine and feminine energies of the Creator become harmonized upon the earth and within humanity, this will also support many in experiencing deeply loving relationships. I am in love with you, Lady Pallas Athena.